Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to trade through DOM in the US market. So before that, I would like to tell you about the US market plans in Go Charting. For that, we have to go to the pricing section. In the pricing section, if we click on USA, we have three plans. One is free. Second is equity ETF premium. Under this plan, you will get the order flow data for the US stocks. Then we have CME premium. Under this plan, you will get the order flow data for index and currency futures. I would like to add one more thing. Friends, if you want to get the most accurate Forex data, you should go for the CME premium plan because here the data is centralized. Unlike the other Forex platforms where the data is decentralized. Now let's go to the charts and try to trade US stocks with the broker trade station. So if you want to trade the US market, we can have the stocks based on the US market. So right now I am having the Apple stock. Friends, I want to tell you a few more things here. We have two session settings here that is extended trading hours or electronic trading hours and the regular trading hours. So you should try to keep it into ETH. Then we have also session settings. So if you go to the session, you can apply these sessions. We have CME, we have US stocks, MCX. So for example, right now it's a US stock session. We can apply this and we can also put the shading on. So this is a four hour chart. Let me make it to 15 minute chart. Now the sessions are shaded and the timings you can see it from here so for the us stocks we have these sessions that is pre-market regular trading hours and the post markets based on the timings then if you have market profile so the market profile will be split based on these sessions so suppose if i apply no sessions so you see the market profile is like this but if i apply us stock session over here so the market profile will split accordingly so after learning all these things, let's try to trade with the trade station. So let's click on the right panel here. We can select the broker as trade station. Now we'll click here. So this is our trade station login page. We can log in here. We need to put the OTP. Now we can see the broker is connected. So now if you want to trade the Apple stock, we have various options like we can go to this buy button. We can place the limit order. So we can see the limit order is placed. Accordingly, we can also place the market order so I can buy it. So this is bought at the market. I can place the buy stop order as well as the buy stop limit orders. Similarly, I can also place the market sell orders limit sell orders so suppose i place the market sell order so this is executed at the same time i can also place the order by simply right clicking so if i right click over a certain price suppose the price is right now it is 189.10 and if i right click i can place the order the limit order by limit 189.1 so this order is placed so this was about how to place the order through our regular methods with help of trading panel. Now I'm going to show you how you can place the orders through DOM. So we have our DOM here. Now suppose you want to place the market buy or market sell orders. You can simply buy, click on buy here and it will go for the market orders. Now friends, I want to tell you one more thing. If you're pressing the buy, this trading panel is getting open. Suppose you don't want this trading panel. You can go to the setting, go to the trading setting and here you can enable the quick trade mode. Now, if I'm buying it at the market price, it will automatically buy this trading panel will not open in the same way. You can also sell the market. From here, you can exit all. So all the order will be exited. And here we have this limit buy order open. You can also cancel it from here. So this is canceled. So all the orders are canceled right now. Now let me tell you how to place the order from the DOM. 
Now suppose you want to place a limit buy order. Now the price is 189.57 and you want to place a limit buy order as 189.48. You simply have to click over here and you see the limit buy order is placed over here. So suppose I want to place the limit buy order at 189.37. Now one more limit buy order is placed. So this was about the left click. So if I left click at this place, it will place a limit buy order. But what if I right click? So if I right click, it will place a stop limit order. We can also see there is a message appearing. So if you, if you want to place the limit order, you have to left click. If you want to place a market stop order, you have to alt plus click to place a market stop order. And if you right click over here, you will be able to place the limit stop limit order. From these buttons, you can move the DOM up and down. And from this button, you can make it to the center. You can exit all your position as I told you from this button. And you can reverse your order from this button. Now you can also change the block size from this button. So here I have put the block size as one. So if you change the block size to a bigger value, you will be able to see the lesser depth. So suppose if I'm changing it to a higher value, you can see the depth has reduced, right? So if you want to see the more depth, you should keep the value as lower. So this is the case when you are going to trade with the DOM. If you click here, you'll be able to see the production of the DOM and all features explained in this video. This is the DOM setting from this option. You can set your DOM. So what are the settings? So friends, this is the setting for order book, which can be accessed from here. This books option you can see. This is the books option here. All the trades are appearing and then this is your order book. So from this option, you will be able to see the bars. Otherwise it will get disappeared and you can also see the cumulative mode or normal mode. And in the depth of market, these are the depth of market setting. If you want to see the trades. So what are the trades? These are the trades. You can see these trades. It will get accumulated from the time you have switched it on. You can also see the volume profile visual range and these you'll show your orders, right? So these are the settings for the depth of market. So I hope you have got a good idea how to trade with the depth of market in case of US stock market. Thank you guys.